ever stumble across a tiny ant marching through the jungle? Don't just swat it away. Some of these little maniacs are exploding ants, ready to blow themselves up with poison, shouting, I'll go boom for the team, like the ultimate sacrifice play. Curious what happens if you mess with their crew and trigger that toxic blast? Hang tight till the video ends end to see why these pint-sized kamikazes are the wildest warriors in the insect world. If crazy critters get your heart thumping, smash that like button and subscribe for more nutty nature tales. We've got an explosive showdown coming your way. Picture this, you're hiking through a steamy rainforest, sweat dripping, when you spot a line of ants so small they're barely a blip. They're scooting along, minding their own business, until you accidentally kick their trail. Most scatter, but one, bam, bursts like a mini grenade, splattering you with a sticky yellow goo that stinks like a chemical spill. That's an exploding ant, and it just went full martyr to save its squad. That goo? It's not just gross, it's a toxic glue bomb packed with poison that can burn, stink, or glue enemies in place. People who have even hit say it as like getting splashed with hot sauce mixed with super glue. I gagged and ran. A trekker in Borneo groaned, still itching days later. Want to know how these tiny terrors pull off such a wild stunt? Let's dive in. These itsy bitsy berserkers are built for the ultimate sacrifice. Exploding ants, part of a group called Colobopsis, are worker drones in colonies deep in Southeast Asia's jungles. They're small, maybe a quarter inch long, with reddish brown bodies that look harmless until they don't. Their secret weapon, a pair of glands stuffed with a noxious brew, stored like dynamite in their swollen abdomens. When trouble, like a rival ant or a curious human, threatens the nest, they flex hard, rupture their own bodies, and boom, out comes a sticky, venomous blast. It's called autothysis, but let's be real, it's a suicide bomb for the greater good. That goo can trap foes, poison them, or just scare the daylights out of anything nearby. Ever seen a spider bolt from an ant? That's the exploding ant's victory splatter. But here's the wild twist. They don't just pop for fun, it's a team play. The colony's all about survival, and these workers are the frontline crazies, ready to die so the queen and her babies live on. The goo's not just sticky, it's loaded with chemicals that burn skin, sting eyes, or kill smaller bugs outright. Scientists say it's a mix of resins and toxins, like nature's own napalm, gluey enough to lock a beetle's jaws shut. A researcher in Malaysia watched one blast a termite. Termite froze like it deep been cemented, she said, jaw dropped. I'll go boom for the team. I isn't just a slogan. It is their whole vibe, a selfless explosion that screams loyalty. Now imagine this. A hiker named Luca was crouching in the jungle, snapping pics of flowers when he brushed a tree crawling with ants. Didn't see him, he said, till one popped and hit my hand. The yellow gunk burned like a wasp sting. And the smell, think rotten eggs meet snail polish, sent him reeling. I thought I'd been cursed, he laughed, still scratching. That's their game. They're tiny, blending into bark or dirt. Then bam, they're a chemical landmine. And they don't just zap humans. Other ants, spiders, even lizards get the goo if they mess with the colony. A guide in Thailand saw one take down a centipede, popped and stuck it solid. He grinned, still amazed. Let's zoom in on the boom. It's not a firecracker explosion, more like a squishy burst splitting their body to spray goo in all directions. The glands are like overfilled balloons, stretched tight with poison till the ant flexes and cracks itself open. That venom? It's not cobra lethal, but it's nasty, burning, sticky, and so foul it'll make your nose beg for mercy. A biologist in Sumatra got a splash on her arm. Felt like acid. She winced, washing for an hour. And the range? They've o'clocked shots a few inches, enough to hit a bug's face or glue a predator's feet. Imagine an ant turning itself into a tiny Molotov cocktail. But here's the freaky bit. They don't all explode. Only certain workers, the ones with the fattest glands, are wired for it. The rest scout, build, or feed the colony, while these bombers patrol like soldiers ready to detonate. First, they'll try biting or running, small jaws, big hustle. Then, if the nest's at stake, they curl up, twitch, and pop. No hesitation. A diver named Mia saw a swarm fend off a rival colony. One went boom, and the others swarmed, she said. It was like a war movie. The goo's not just defense, it's a signal telling the team, fight's on. For the team, means everything. Each blast buys time for the colony to rally. Here's a wild tale. A camper named Tariq was setting up a tent when he kicked an ant trail. Thought they'd scatter, 
he said, till one exploded on my shoe. The goo stuck like tar, and the stench, pure chemical funk, had him gagging. My socks were ruined, he groaned, still mad. His buddy laughed. You got owned by an ant. But Tariq wasn't smiling. That's their style, quiet till they're not, then all in with a toxic burst. And they don't just scare campers, predators get it worse. A beetle in Borneo tried to raid a nest, got glued and died, a local said, still spooked. But they're not all blasts and goo, they're colony MVPs. Exploding ants live in trees or underground, hauling food, bits of bugs, sap, whatever, back to the nest. Ever seen an ant hustle? It's a march, straight lines, no nonsense, like a tiny army on the move. A kid in Laos watched a trail carry a dead moth. Looked like a funeral parade, he said, eyes wide. And that body? It's tough. Shiny armor, strong legs, and those glands like ticking bombs. A wasp in Vietnam struck one. Popped and stuck its wings, a farmer said, grimacing. Sacrifice pays off? Here's a close call. A trekker named Lena leaned on a tree crawling with ants. Didn't notice, she said, till one burst on my elbow. The goo burned like a match, and she flailed, yelling about a demon bug. Smelled like a lab accident, she added, still itching. Lucky it didn't hit her face. Others aren't so fortunate. A hunter in Cambodia got it in his eye. Stung like chili, he groaned, rinsing for hours. That's the boom part. It's not just shock. It's a chemical smackdown. So how do they thrive out there? These ants rule jungles. Borneo, Malaysia, Thailand. Anywhere humid and green. They'll nest in bark, roots, or hollow twigs, blending with the chaos till it's time to detonate. Ever seen one hide? They're small, scurrying like specks. But when the goo flies, size doesn't matter. A hiker in Sumatra tripped over a nest. Didn't see it till it popped, he said. Then my leg burned. They're masters of ambush, turning teamwork into terror. Here's a gooey horror story. A guy named Arjun was clearing vines when an ant popped on his wrist. Felt like a spark, he said. Then it stuck and stank. He scraped it off, cursing the tiny bomb. Smelled like death, he spat, still mad. His sister laughed. Lost to a bug. But Arjun wasn't amused. And they don't just zap humans. Predators get it worse. A spider in Brunei struck a nest. Glued and gone, a witness said, still freaked. But let's get crazier. Some exploding ants don't just pop. They'll latch on, bite, and then blast, doubling the pain. A researcher in Laos saw one take a rival ant. Bit, popped, both died, she said, like a duel. And that goo? It's not always yellow. Sometimes it's white or orange, depending on the ant's diet. Ever seen a bug bet its life? These guys go all in. A villager in Malaysia keeps a nest near his farm. They guard my crops, he grinned, but I don't touch. So how do you dodge the blast zone? If you're in their turf, think jungle trails. Watch your step. They're tiny, so scan for lines or clumps. See one curl or a twitch? Back off slow. No swats or you're gooey. Got boots? Good. Glue's harder to smell through leather. And if you're hit, rinse fast. Water cuts the stick. Soap kills the burn. Eyes splashed. Flush him and see a dock if it stings. It's not fatal, but it's hell. Pets in the mix. Keep them leashed. Dogs will sniff and howl. A hiker's pup got a face full. Wind all night, she sighed. Still here? Sweet. These ants aren't just nuts, they're heroes. They clean nests, guard eggs, and die for the cause. Talk about team spirit. Old tales call them fire ants, bursting to curse foes. Not true, but close. Ever seen one pop under a flashlight? It's eerie, goo glinting like a warning. A camper in Thailand said one stared him down. Felt like a hex, he laughed. And those glands? Fat, shiny, ready to blow. Ever met one or got a stickier tail? Spill it in the comments, we're hooked. Watch the video for the full blast off and like, subscribe, share if you're Team Ant now. Stay goo-free, friends.